Damn me wait a whole what hour, a whole hour. It started with the penis part. Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. Do you mean brands up? For what? Yo. What up, though? All right, guys. I just want to talk about this. Um, QP, Quantum Physics was on Angry Fans Radio. This is a must-listen-to interview. Um, he got on, you know, the situation he had with, uh, you know, the, you know, you know, you know, you know the, the, the plate, the plate and the gummies, the gummies and the plate, the gummy bears, the gummy bears. He had the issue there. So he got on, told his side of the story. You know, he wasn't the one who brought it out. It was his opponent, apparently, who brought it out or whoever. All right. And he was basically his, his excuses. He was, you know, he didn't want to be, you know, he, you know, openly, you know, we openly know what we know about QP. All right. So he didn't want to look like no sucker, like he, like he was fake. So, he, he, you know, he, he, he gummy, he gummied it. He gummied it. What do you want me to do? He gummied it. Uh, he apologized. He's been taking a lot of heat for this. People are calling him, asking if he's okay. You know, what's going on? He doesn't advocate it, you know, in battle rap, he, he, but he doesn't mind, you know, talking about it outside. It does, you know, listen. He apologized, he apologized, and he apologized multiple times. Apologized for it. Said if he had to do it all over, he would have never done it. All right? He was put, basically, he was put on the spot. So, you know, I think more of the onus here has to go to the guy who brought it out. You know, honestly, he's the guy. Why would you? He introduced it. He introduced it. QP said he had nothing. He had, he had no idea that was happening. He looked at it. He gum, you know, gummied it. He gummied it. You know, you know what I mean? You know what a gummy is, right? <laughs> and, um, and then he, you know, handed it off to his girl, and that was it. You know, but... You know, it's been, it's, it, it's been like, it's been crazy for him lately and, you know, hearing about it, you know, I don't know, man, you go listen to it. All right. He definitely, definitely apologizes multiple times. And, um, you know, it is what it is at this point. It's like, honestly, I think the, the, the owner should go on the guy who, who introduced it on the camera. That, that's the, that's the bigger issue here, right? Why did you introduce it? Why did you put him in that even position to have to deal with it? Should he have dealt with it a different way? Of course, you know, but that's not, I mean, you know, when you put on the spot, what do you, you know, and then he didn't want to, he was in his, you know, he's playing his character. He was playing his character and it's like, whatever, you know, at this point it's like, whatever, bro. But let me tell you something. That's not the, the, the breaking news in that, in that, uh, in Angry Fans interview. The breaking news is, well, I don't know if it's breaking news, but they, I mean, I didn't know about this. It didn't seem like Caps knew about it. Uh, and you had Danny Myers on the call too. And QP starts airing out a uh, twerk for, he, he, he explains what happened during the whole, the whole cartel uh, situation when he was booked um, to battle there earlier this year. Uh, apparently, they gave him a $1,000 deposit, right? And then he was going to get another five, or it was like 500, 500. And then he got 500 now, 500 in a little bit, and then 500 when he showed. So he got, but he ended up getting 1,000, all right? And then um, after he got that, and he got the 1,000, then it was come to the, you know, QP's attention and them, because he was working with Beasley and all them, that Twerk took the battle, when he knew he couldn't, he knew he couldn't battle on, on cartel. Yeah, he still took the deposit. This is QP saying what Beasley and them told them from their mouth. Okay. All right. So then QP was like, listen, all right, well, that's fine. If he can't battle, whatever. All right. Well, you need to, um, you know, make it right. And then, you know, you know, we got to get that thousand dollars back that he owes us. And then Chork doesn't have the money, obviously, because, you know, what, what are we doing? Like, would you, are you surprised? So Beasley and um, them, they made a deal where um, he'll have him sign some kind of contract or something, um, and they'll, 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 they'll send him, they're going to give Twerk $1,000 so he can return it to the cartel. Beasley sends that money to Twerk to send back to the cartel, and guess what? What do you think happened? Doesn't give it. Doesn't give it to them. Stops answering their phone calls. <laughs> Bro, you literally can't make this up anymore. At this point, it's a joke. You can't make this. You could. I couldn't. I couldn't write this in a book. The story. And I couldn't. I couldn't be that creative to come up with this. What's happening here? He just stiffed him. Danny Myers goes and says that he was at a battle uh, earlier this year, uh, at, at, attending it, where Twerk was. I, I think he said Seattle, where Twerk was um, supposed to uh, be there. He doesn't show up to that one, and then he doesn't return their deposit. He said it wasn't that much, like 250 or something, but still, didn't send it to him. Pulled the, pulled the same thing. What is happening in battle? What, what, is this, what is wrong with these guys? Like, is this for real? Is this for real? 
Is this how we're, is this how we're doing business? Like, what do you, you know why I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off about this? Because you know what happens when people steal and they do stuff like this, how shady this is, when they do shady business and then they're still running around doing it and doing it, like Be Magic. Be Magic stole $1,000 and he's on Facebook or Twitter saying he ain't paying it back because he didn't like the way they talked to him or addressed them or, or addressed him. And he's like, whatever, who cares about them? Posting this, admitting he stole it, he ain't giving it back, he don't care. She even offered to get him on Judge Mathis. Judge Mathis will pay the thousand dollars back for him. He just got to come on cam, and uh, he just got to come on cam and, and you know and, and show up and look stupid, and 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 then he. She, but he he refuses to answer their phone calls. What is these guys doing? Press Mafia just did. He just stole a deposit, dipped. Now I understand like there has to be a point where the onus is on the uh, on the leagues at this point, and one hundred percent, any league moving forward that continues to book twerk. That's why I'm a little bit upset with combat, uh, close combat. You know, they said they, they, they talked to twerk, they forgave him. The only reason twerk, uh, you know, we all know he only apologized because of champion. All right. And that was, that was the worst apology ever. Like, come on, man. That doesn't, that doesn't seem sincere. That was a joke. Something's really going on with this guy. Don't like, I'm telling, I told you, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you it again. I will never support a card that this guy's on. All right. Why would he do that to black cartel? How, how does someone live with them? How, how does someone, first of all, you're given a thousand dollars. You don't give it back when you, you take the battle when knowing you can't battle. So it's just you're stealing you, off rip. You know that. Then URL gives you a thousand to give it back to them because they said they couldn't, they couldn't give it to them directly because it was some, it was, it was an issue, a con contract issue. Twerk actually had to give them the money. That was what Beasley had said to uh, QP. So they give it, they give it to them then to, for you them to give them and you still don't give it back. You don't even give it back that one. Now you've stole 2000. He told a thousand from URL. He stole a thousand from them. QP said that they had uh, the, the four star hotel booked for him and the flight. That's another five hundred. So that they spent on you, twerk. That was gone. Fifteen hundred dollars plus. They were given refunds at the door because you didn't show up. It's the enablers. I'm telling you right now, it's the enablers. You think you're being a friend to twerk? by being one of his real fans, enabling this behavior, you're worse than him. You're the problem. Yeah, I always put onus on the guy. Uh, everyone's responsible for themselves. I'm all about that. But when you start becoming an enabler, you gotta be responsible for yourself. Don't enable him anymore. The leagues, you're still, at URL, you're enabling him. You're enabling him, you're allowing this. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, what you told him. But if he's booked on another card this year, you're enabling him. You know about this cartel thing before he battled DNA and Danny Myers, I'm sure. So you enable him anyways. You're just as much to blame at this point. Y'all want us to take this like a, it's like a professional business or do you want us to look at this like it's a clown show? I want to know, let me know. Cause right now it's a damn clown show. So don't get mad at me when I come up here and treat you like clowns. If you don't have respect for yourself and your customers, why should the fans have respect for you? It's not going to happen. It's not how life works. If you don't like my opinions and what we say, then just shut us off and see how far that gets you. Because it doesn't matter what we say. It's obvious what's going on, and there's going to be a breaking point. And the breaking point for me, as, as far as I'm concerned, for you guys, URL, DEFCON 4 is Summer Madness 7. Something's wrong with this guy. He's stealing money. He's not giving it back. He's look what he did. He stole. He didn't show up to a, a combat battle league. All right. He's recycling bars. He's taking all these battles. He's uh, he, he didn't show up for Danny Myers. QP basically said that was like a, a trick. You just you know you gotta. That's how you do it. Do it right. You know you do it right. You you, you check yourself in the hospital. Say you got a little stomachache. So now you take a little picture and you're good. Right. You do this to uh, uh what you did again to Black um, Ice. The situations we had over the over the summer with you, you know the Flint battle, all, all these other all these other issues. Yet URL knows all this, and they book him for Summer Madness. They book him for Smack Volume what, what Smack or uh, no not Smack yeah Smack Volume Two. For known, you're enabling him. You think you're helping him because you're giving him work, I and mean, maybe he's in a tough situation, and 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 you know well at least he's getting a check. Obviously the the, the checks you're giving him isn't enough. Whatever's going on in his life, it's not enough. 
It's not enough because he can't even get deposits back. Of his own money, he can't. Why? 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 If you're giving, listen, I'm telling you right now, if you're this broke, bro, honestly, and you, 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 if you get a deposit and then you can't make it and you can't give that deposit back, if that's the, if that, if that's the place in your life, you shouldn't be battling, bro. I don't care. I don't care because, like, you got bigger issues than battle rap. This is the last thing that should be on your mind. Go get a real job, bro. Go get yourself a real job that you, like, like a nine to five. This isn't working out. This isn't working out for you. You have all the talent in the world. But this is obviously not working out for you. You don't, you don't know what, like, you, I, this is, and I, I, I don't care how old you are. Once you're 18, you're old enough. You guys are enabling him, his friends, his management. You guys are enabling this. Same goes to QP. I mean, not QP, but same goes to B-Magic. And same goes for uh, Press. You, we got to get, like, and, 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 and as far as I'm concerned, going forward, the leagues, you are just as responsible now. We, we know B-Magic stole for sure. Don't book him no more. How? How? When he flaunts it that he don't care. Online. It's over. When he flaunts online that he's stolen, he don't care. Admitting it, it's over. That has to be your mentality. It's over for you. You can't accept this. What are we doing? Press Mafia, how many chances? Twerk, how do you steal? How do you take a battle you know you can't battle at? Take the money. Then URL gives you the money to send it back, and you still don't, and you steal that too? It's over. So any leagues going forward, you will be held responsible. And these guys, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, it's a wrap for me. It's a wrap. I don't care what they say from now. Were they, they going to come back? I don't want to watch them battle. They're bums. I don't want to watch a, ba- a bum battler. I want to watch bum fights on YouTube. I'm going to watch a bum battler, a bum who, can't, who has no money, who can't, who's stealing the people's money, who, who steals purses. We just run through that. We, 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 we swept that under the rug. Nobody really talks about it. He stole a lady's purse a few months ago. Stop enabling him, all right? You guys think I'm hard on twerk. I'm this and that. Listen, someone like me, he don't listen to me. He don't watch me. I've been blocked. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm not speaking to him because it doesn't matter. He don't watch. Someone in his, close to him needs to speak to him the way I'm speaking to him. That's why I'm doing this, because I need the people who are close to him to realize this is how he needs to be spoken to and treated right now. If he's just a kid, then you need to treat him like a kid and get him out of the situation. Protect him. If he's a kid, if he's a grown-up, then you need to tell him what's up, and you've got to stop enabling him, and you need to stop feeding him the money. Stop giving him money. Some people need to hit rock bottom to change. Sometimes that you, when you let someone hit rock bottom, that's the more kinder thing you can do to them than to keep and enable them and keep and enable them. I deal with this in my personal life with family members. I know I'm doing it right now. We have enablers in our family who are enabling another family member. And I have, I'm done with that. It's the same situation. Steals, steals, doesn't understand, takes advantage. But people keep helping him and helping him because he has a family and you can't just let him lose his, his, his house. But this is going on for years and it's only gotten worse and worse. This is my personal life I'm talking about. I just got, I'm done enabling that a long time ago, but there's still people out there. He needs to hit rock bottom and Twerk needs to hit rock bottom if that's what it takes to make a change and to actually save whatever's going on in this dude's life, bro. You can't just say it's cool to be drunk all the time if that's what's going on. Is he an alcoholic? You can't just enable that. If, it's, if, 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 if either he backed out on Danny, which is trash, or he's got an alcohol, alcohol problem. And you guys enable that because the next day everybody's drinking with him. If you have that much of an alcoholic problem that you get so drunk and put it in, I have drunk. You know how much I've drank in my life when I was younger? I don't ever, I don't even drink no more. But when I did, I used to party. But I never got sick enough for I had alcohol poisoning. You know how much you have to drink to get alcohol poisoning? And I still, when I was a drinker, I had to take care of business. 
And when I realized I couldn't, I stopped drinking. When I, after, when I started getting older and the alcohol affected me a little bit different, I stopped drinking. I don't like to be tired. I like to be on point. Keep enabling them and see what happens. That's all I'm saying. So, peace.